What's up everybody, Thiago Movimento here. Welcome to my channel and today we have a very good video because I'm finally getting my new berimbau. I spent already some years uh, without my berimbau and now I have my new one. I made sure to have a very good quality. So today we're gonna have the unpacking of the berimbau and see if I still can play it. Let's, let's see. Okay, now let's check it out. The verga, the verga is the stick, right? Mm -hmm. Looks nice. My knife is not as sharp as I thought it would be. I'm afraid to use the knife and cut something oh, in the Benny Bow or my finger that I just mm, did it. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> So I literally cut my finger and it doesn't stop to bleed. So I had to do this here. <laughs> I hope I'm not gonna die unpacking my bedding bow. Okay, let's try again. There's nothing here. Oh, that's the bedding bow. Very nice and clean uh, verga. I bought this bedding bow from Abada Capoeira from Mestrando uh, Stasio here in Germany so I made sure to have the Abada Capoeira quality if I have my new bidding bow I want to have a very good one so I search for uh, Abada Capoeira bidding bow he painted here the stick as well very nice very clean Let's see, you have here the cabasa, And we decide to have the verga with no paint, but the cabasa with paint. So looks nice. And inside we have the kashishi. And here, the stone. He even gave me the stone. It's a very simple, norm, normal stone, but very well clean as well. So as you see, it looks very nice. Let's see if it sounds very nice. If you don't know what is a berimbau, here we have a stick with a wire. Normally we take this wire from a, a a Reifen of Deutsch wheel, a uh, normal car wheel. Inside of the wheel, they take it off. And now here is like a bow, okay? Like a bow and arrow. I'm gonna take this here so I, can, I don't scratch the floor. And here on top, we have a, a how you call it, leather, 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 leather. Okay, leather. And then you're gonna do like this. You put one foot here. The other leg goes between. It's just like an arrow for you. And now this leg works as leverage, so I can pull the the stick for me, the verga. Normally, if you see if they have already here, yeah. They have a place tagged where you can put the wire, you see? Because it, whoa, <laughs> because it tested already. So normally we're gonna put it here in the middle and then you pull, it goes around. I hold with my hand and fingers and then I keep going down, down. Now, the last part. Mm -hmm. 
like a, like a bowl, right? And then normally we do like this to see if it's fixed. Now, the cabasa, I can press a little bit here on the wire and the cabasa goes here. Normally, just around one hand, if it goes too far away, it's too much. I'm very excited to hear uh, the sound. I can say one thing already. I can't remember now what is the kind of wood that they used, but it's very, very, very light. It's not, it's not uh, beriba. Normally we use beriba to do berimbau, but this one is not beriba. I remember that he told me, and it's very, very amazingly uh, uh, light. Oh yeah, sounds like a medio. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So I don't remember the last time that I played a bit in bow. It was around where one year, two years ago. I don't remember. It was long ago. Let's see. Thank you so much, Mr. de Stasso, for the Berimbau. It's really, really nice, beautiful. Uh, everything looks nice from the uh, baqueta, from the stick, to the encaixe sheet, to the vega. Everything is nice and very, very light and sounds amazing. So thank you so much. Everybody, please follow me on all the social medias because we're going to have a lot of uh, capoeira and, of course, Berimbau content coming soon for you. All right? See you on the next video.